Yeah, the Frugal 4 have become the Frugal 5. Uh, Austria, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands and Finland now. And it's all about, the main issue here is about the money that's given out as grants rather than loans. So 750 billion euros is the pot that they want to raise on the financial markets between the 27 countries to basically in the short term it was survive the recession from COVID-19. You know, 8% uh, percent on average GDP uh, contraction across Europe. Spain, for example, going to see an 11% contraction. So what do they do to try to get, you know, boost the economy, boost jobs, get people working again? Uh, and it comes down to really sort of the leader of the pack, Mark Rutte. Uh, they say that in, Flem in, in Dutch, het been uh, stiff hoeden. He's keeping a stiff leg. That means he's not budging an inch on this because the the Dutch want to see a smaller amount given in grants, around uh, four, 300 billion euros, not 500 billion euros as is planned. But the Italians and the Spanish, they don't want to see that pot being reduced. They want to see uh, money without these conditions or having to pay it back because they say it is simply not their fault. Last night, we were told from Mark Rutte that Angela Merkel and uh, Emmanuel Macron, the French and German leaders, walked out, he said, in a grumpy breakout because they were tired. They said they understood everybody's position but they want to go home. They've been talking, Ben, for more than 25 hours now. They're trying to work out this recovery fund on the one hand. They're trying to work out the long-term budget worth more than a trillion. And they all have to pay a bit extra into the coffers because of the UK having, well, leaving officially as of the end of, uh, end of the year. The transition period ends. So that's taking time too.